Welcome folks. And here is a real quick and dirty on how to install and initially set up XC Soar on an Android cell phone. I'm sorry, if you've got an iPhone, you're out of luck. So to begin, you want to go to Google Play Store. And then we're going to search for XC Soar. Let's see what we get. And we want the one that says Max Kellerman. You might see a couple show up, but this, this is the one you want. 100,000 downloads. Got it. Okay. We go to open. Allow XC sort of access the location. Uh, yeah, I, I don't even know what the difference between all the time and when you're using it, but uh, all the time, allow it. And there you go. And you come up with this little intimidating screen here. And what you got to do, what do you want to do? Well, I want to fly. Not really, but that's what you got to say. Uh, do you want to participate in some field test? Uh, not right now, we don't. And anyway, you can see it It uh, already knows sort of where I am, but we're in the void. So here's what you got to do, and it's, it's gestures. To configure this thing, it's really simple. You do what I'm going to draw a V on the screen, right? Because V is the first letter in configuration. Okay, so here we are. Now we see some buttons, and we're going to pick config and we're going to pick system and we're going to pick site files right because this thing works worldwide right we, we've got to tell it what terrain files do you want to use what airspace files do you want to use because it also does airspace and even turn points so first thing we'll go for is the map database we're going to click in there we're going to hit download to ask it to retrieve what's available. And there we go. And you see stuff uh, pretty much for the entire planet. And what we would like in our area is, wait for it, there, U.S. Northeast High Res XCM. It's highlighted and we click on Download. Actually, you don't click, you push. And now you can see that little blue bar at the bottom of the screen there. It is going to take it a while to download it. And now we're back after the download is completing. Okay, so we have that. You see it there. Next, we're going to skip waypoints. You can do that later. Um, not necessary for just re initially recording your flight data. We want airspace. Again, download. See how easy this is? Piece of cake. Okay, what do we want? Bulgaria? No. Lithuania? No. Ukraine? No. We want USA airspace. And again, download. So we're not getting any progress on this airspace download. And for right now, we, we don't actually need it for just simple flight recording. So what we can do, we'll cancel this. We will cancel, close, close. And now you should be back and see your terrain, as long as you got a GPS fix. Now, again, to get into the menu for XCSOAR, it's uh, V for menu. And then we're going to quit. Okay. So now we're completely out of the application. If we check all our apps, um, let's close everything. And now let's just try going into it so you can see what it's like to start up. If you go to the field, normally... 
Start it. What do you want to do? Fly. And that's it. It should pick up a GPS fix. And that's all you do. You can blank the screen and put the phone in your pocket. It actually sort of detects when you take off and it'll start and it'll start doing a recording. All right. Um, we'll go back in. And when you're done, before you leave the field or after your flight, what you would do is just go in here. Again, the V for menu and hit quit. Quit program. Yes. And, uh, and it will have saved it. Now, if you want to see the files, right, the data recording files, again, you'll go in. V for configuration, hit config. We're going to jump to the second screen. You'll see here file manager. And normally you would also see your, uh, your data files here, your IGC files are here, right? And you have to, you know, if you want to get these somewhere, you got to download them to your computer. I'm going to close this. We'll get out of this, quit, quit. You've normally got some kind of file manager app on your phone, right? So you're going to go look, where's internal storage? And what you're going to find, go down in here. There you go, XCSOR data. And it keeps a lot of your stuff here. And when you do do a flight, because I, I cleaned my phone entirely for purposes of this demo, uh, you'll see IGC files here. And then however you want to do it, connecting it to your PC or uploading it somewhere, um, you know, you, you've got the file for later storage and analysis. So that concludes the demo. Uh, we'll get back with you with the problem on the uh, downloading the uh, airspace. I just assume it's either something with the software or something with the website. Bye-bye.